Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha Kodash, and the double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. This year is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad, coming back again to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And um, basically, this lesson would be on. The statement that the Pope, Pope Francis, made um, yesterday calling for union, alright, for uh, union laws or something, so for all, for the gay community, and saying that we had to stop treat the homosexual community as a, um, as outcasts, but rather incorporate them among ourselves. Now, that being said right there should should put should put some kind of sense in you people heart outside here in this world to the point where you, 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 you begin to see a little more clearer that these people are not godly people all right the pope ain't no godly man all right these people are the, 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 the tabernacle of Satan. Alright? Yeah, these people are the, the tabernacle of Satan, the devil's house. Them from the devil's house. Them not from the house of the most high. For you to make a statement like that, and you're supposed to be the world religious leader, the, the religious leader for the whole world, you use the head man any kind of play that you have in your life right you are the play of being the head over the whole world where religion is concerned for you to make a statement and say that homosexuals have to be incorporated rather than excluded that incorporate them into into the daily life and he called for that and he's saying they are human beings too, they are people too, they are gods, they say they are gods people too. Basically what going on with majority of you people outside here, all you are blind. Alright, as the scripture say, in the book of first, no, Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, as the light of the glorious gospel of our of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So, we speak in the truth. All right. We holding up this, this standard over here in Babylon, beginning with the apostles, the elders, the teachers under them, the men of the Lord all over the world. This is the standard that we hold up. The scriptures. Alright? The scriptures. The standard. Okay? The banner. The scriptures say, lift you up a banner upon the high mountain. This is the banner. Alright? And in contained in this book, contained in this book, is is words of life. And on one way, you know the Bible is true. One way you know the Bible is a true book. All right. You see the act of homosexuality, lesbianism. The, the scripture say, the scripture say that the law is the truth. All right. Psalms one nineteen one forty two. Let me see if I could get that quickly right Psalms 119 142 it says thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth all right thy law is the truth the laws of the heavenly father is truth the truth to your life to to end to end to make life prosper on the on the earth the laws of the Lord 
could it could would assist in that because it's the truth is a true way to live homosexuality is a lie it is a lie it's not the true way to live and this is how you could realize the scriptures is true because there is a lot a lot a lot of doctrines old doctrines that people caught up into all right from the like the egyptians and all of them and and the whatever other doctrine people caught up into a lot a lot of old old as doctrines it have right and within these doctrines you have different ways of life okay but in our doctrine every we are life because we're supposed to live by the laws of the heavenly father and every law the heavenly father declare for we prolongs life homosexuality cuts life short now it have doctrines that does promote sexual homosexuality these ancient philosophies like the egyptians like the the the, the, the men and them who in the black unconsciousness their doctrine actually from they, their doctrine comes from homose a, a homosexual background that have homosexuality incorporated into their doctrine and all kind of fucking effed up shit with with animals and all of these things they 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 have that incorporated in the doctrine or if not if they don't how oh, try teach that this is where it stem from all right Kemet and all of them things them things stem from what Kemet come from the word ham come which is ham ham which is hot which is the son of Noah and these Hamites right were freaks okay their way of life wasn't prolonging life but when you go into our way of life with the Heavenly Father give unto us, this is how you know the laws of the Lord is the truth because homosexuality, that law, is a law that came down from heaven. The Heavenly Father look down on the earth and tell you, hey, see, that lifestyle ain't going to do nothing fair. To be homosexual ain't going to do nothing fair. It ain't going to promote life. It ain't going to do this. It ain't going to help in no kind of way. So you know what? Don't do that because that's not going to help in no kind of way. Adultery not going to help you no kind of way because a man could kill you for, would kill you for sleeping with your wife. You will lose your life. Don't do that. Different doctrines and different cultures just promote these things. Eating all kind of abominable meats that will not prolong your life. Do not do that. That ain't good for you. The, the laws of the Lord is the truth. The, thy law is the truth. It is true. It teaching you a true way to live and homosexuality is not a true way to live and these people which included the Pope alright telling you telling the world now that hey if, if you're caught up in homosexuality if, if you want to be homosexual it's okay God love you still this is the false prophet that the scriptures was talking about and I'm gonna get a said there this is the book of um, Revelation, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 13 it says and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out, come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and to the and of the whole world to gather them the 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 battle of the great day of the, the most high almighty okay so them is the spirits are devils them is the spirits are devils working miracles Broken miracles, they're doing all kind of wonders and signs on the earth are people in all because they want miracles. <coughs> a miracle is a wonder. To have people like, wait, how we, how we do that? How we, huh? And believe in you. You understand? The works that Yahweh Shai came and did and the miracles that he did made people believe in him more. They say, now the power in this man is real. This had to be the man. Scriptures tell you that. So the miracles that these these wicked people doing is like these homosexual acts that are passing 
it's like a miracle them getting people to believe in that actually believe like yeah that like good doctrine like sound doctrine the cell phones and the, the, the internet and the computers and the the, the, the the false teachings and all of these things that they have people amazed at and believing in it full and wholeheartedly and the false prophet is the Roman Catholic Church that is the main false prophet the main false because he, that is the spiritual head of all the, 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 the churches in the world that is the spiritual head the spiritual head it have a reason why they call the Roman Catholic Church the mother of all churches not just one church it says, it says they, they call them the mother of all churches they're talking about the Pentecostal Church, Seventh day Adventist Church, Jehovah Witness Church, the local Baptist Church, Methodist Church. Um, what did I just call them down here? The full, the full Gospel Church. You name it. Alright? The Roman Catholic Church is their mother, meaning she gave birth to all of them so what you see in the future you church people out there if your past thing your past thing going and come and telling you that hey homosexuals we have to accept them the heavenly father not accepting no homosexual any fucking congregation by your mother no the scripture does go on to say if they repent if they repent, they have a chance of making it. But I'd put off that lifestyle because that lifestyle is filthiness. And the Pope saying, you don't have to put it off. You could be a part of it. You could be in it and still, you, you could still go and blow a rod and then come and worship Jesus. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Every Pope telling you, this is fucking madness. That is why, that is why them is a the false prophet because they're not teaching you the laws of the Heavenly Father. To pull people in the right direction. The Lord's the Lord says this in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Right? And it says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. See? So you can't be lying down with a man in a bed and then going and playing a call and, and saying he's one of God people. Is what's God? The God of this world. Is he people? The God of heaven and earth. The God who created heaven and earth. The power that created heaven and earth. Is not their people. Okay? So hey, with that you know I'll give all praises. Honor and glory to you. Our Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakodash. Double honesty, apostles and elders of great millstone, natural wealth, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.